Hey guys, we're here today for something a little different. This is Steven. Now, Steven, what, what is what is this? So it's a air tractor 301, and we've removed the original uh, Pratt and Whitney 1340, and we've installed a diesel V12. Um, it's made by Red Aircraft in Germany. The big selling points is it burns 25 gallons an hour of Jet A. Uh, extremely reliable and uh, I'm just going 155 miles an hour across the field. So fast. <laughs> twin turbo, right? Yep, twin turbo. Each bank, there's technically, it's a one block, but it's got two basically six cylinder engines that share a block, a crankshaft, and a gearbox. So each side has its own high pressure fuel pump and turbo. So they're capable of operating independently. It's extremely safe and reliable. It's got multiple um, redundancy, so you never have any issues with flight. Sweet. Yeah. So, so okay, how, how much in-house work do you have to do to get something like this bolted to an airplane? Um, in the future, the plan is uh, it would come here and you literally unbolt the 1340, take the four bolts off, and uh, we'll bolt this frame on there. There's a little bit of modifications you have to do to the uh, firewall um, to hold the FADEC, etc., expansion tanks. It's, it is liquid cooled. Um, and then in the cockpit, you can do what you want. We put a 402 dash with an MVP. Yeah, it's pretty uh, but yeah, liquid cooled. We've got the radiators in the bottom, intercoolers in the top, and air intakes in here. It's awesome. And this is this is all this is carbon fiber. Oh, this yes. is the real oh, stuff, yes. right? Oh, yes. The whole the whole. It's actually bolted to the engine, so the it's extremely, extremely rigid. Um, the uh, there's gaps here. It's not even bolted to the airframe, so as the you're going through the air and the engine, etc., is vibrating. You never, you never get cracks or whatever on the firewall. Um, it's very extremely rigid. It's very very nice. Uh, MT propeller. Um, this particular one, because we're still in the experimental version, is a stainless steel leading edge. Plan on having a nickel leading edge, um, five times stronger than aluminum, does not corrode. These things have had great success, especially with bush pilots hitting wires, hitting trees, etc. They don't come apart. Um, and you can buy three of them for the price of the <laughs> of the prop on my 402. So that's a big, <laughs> big. <sale. laughs> yeah. So, so basically, what you're what you're trying to say is, this is this is just cheaper to run. It's it's per hour. It is as cheap as an ag truck to run um we we always figure to make money with our 402 we need to burn we need to make 11 1200 bucks an hour on the high side this thing you can get away with six or seven hundred bucks an hour um, the maintenance is extremely inexpensive the fuel burn is wonderful i was going 145 cruising around the other day i was only burning 21 22 gallons an hour so it's, it's very fuel efficient and you can run it on jet a um i think the injectors actually like uh, off-road diesel or normal diesel better. So well, yeah, it's really yeah, it's certified for 2,000 hour TBO with Jet A. Um, we because it's a newer engine um, and being ag guys, we're going to plan on running it for 3,600 hours, maybe even four, depending upon you know how things hold up, etc. So yeah, we're, we're really excited about it. So so you, you want to just take this down to the to, to Bucky's and get some diesel? Yep. Fill her up and ride. No, no one will. No one yeah. will know the difference. Yeah, I mean, with uh, this 301's got the 126 gallon fuel tanks, so I mean we've got almost six hours of fuel um, at at max power. So you. Yeah. That's crazy. How? All right, now 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 we get into the fun figures. How much is max power? Um, it makes 550 horsepower. That's a couple. Um, that's it, it. Yeah, it goes and uh, it has a good bit of torque on a. I filled it's this. It's a diesel. Uh, yeah, I filled the hopper up completely full, 350 gallons. It was coming over my windshield while I was taking off, and it hauls it just as well as my uh, Dash 34, 402. Um, it's it's unbelievable. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hauling around so much less fuel, I know helps a good bit, but it's it's just as fast. It hauls just the load. It's, it's it's not even in the same category as the 1340. It is it is turbine territory. Well, I know, I know, I'm, I'm normally, I normally do cars, but I just couldn't help it. This is too cool. Yeah. This is really cool. Well, it's, it's, uh, hopefully this is the, the future, right? We're going to bolt them off. The plan is, that's why we bought that airplane to begin with, is we take that turbine off, sell it, and put another diesel on that one, so we can have two of them. It, it really, 
it really goes. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a random one of two airplane on a car channel. I know that's not totally what you see, but you know what? It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Please subscribe. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.